Hey guys, welcome back to Ask Told by Muriel. I am Muriel and I am a registered nurse of a little over two years. I just want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for clicking that button and to my oldies but goodies. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I came at y'all today to give y'all a little update. I know I've been going for about three, three to four weeks, I believe, but life has just been happening, you know, staying busy. And so I just want to give y'all another update, life update of what's been going on with me. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I think on a few videos back, I mentioned I had two interviews for two acute care facilities. So I'm going to give y'all an update on what happened with those. Okay, first interview was with, uh, I believe it was a level three. Hopefully my son will quiet down some with that eating over there. Was on a, at a level three um, hospital about an hour away from me. Um, okay, so let me start by saying the reason I decided to go back into acute care is for one, to get my skills because I plan to hopefully partake in some of these acute care travel assignments in the future. Um, but I was, I formerly worked in a level one trauma facility for about seven months. So I don't have that full year's experience and some places require two years, but you know, if I can at least get a year, maybe a year and a half in, I think I might be able to partake mm -hmm. in some of these tra future travel assignments. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, um, first interview, I think it was a level three facility. It was on a PCU unit, which is progressive care unit. Um, two of my goals are to obtain the skills, but I mm -hmm. wanted to work in a facility that utilizes EPIC um, EMAR charting system because EPIC is widely used across the United States and I have no experience with EPIC. So I wanted to gain the experience on using that and also for the insurance, um, you know, insurance at uh, acute care facilities. They're normally really good, like real good rates and everything. So yeah, first interview I went to, I thought it went pretty well. I was, it were two, two women interviewing me. One was the mm -hmm. charge, not charge nurse, excuse mm -hmm. me, nurse manager. I'm not sure what role the other lady played, but anyway, I thought the interview went well. I went down to HR. Um, two things I didn't like about this facility. One, they do not utilize Epic. That was like a, for me, like very discouraging. And two, in order to, like I was looking for a part-time, I really don't want to go full-time into an acute care facility. But in order to get the um, part-time insurance, you have to work 30 hours a week. And you know, with nurses, we do three 12-hour shifts. So there was really no way for me to make that a 30-hour um, week without being there three days a week which i didn't want to do i you know i wanted to guarantee them two days a week i didn't want to do three days a week because of the drive i've been doing long-term travel assignments um lately and although they're kind of local long long local travel because i'm within like an hour from my home i'm just the, the driving is really just kind of getting to me so yeah and that was another downfall the fact that i would have to do three 12-hour shifts so I left that interview thinking, you know, I had that job in the bag, but I really didn't want it. Went on to my second interview. Second interview was a non-interview. Y'all, them people ran me around, like, go up this go up this floor, down that floor, here, there, everywhere. Like, I ran around that building. It's a long-term, it was a long-term acute care facility within a hospital, and no one ever came out to interview me. And I did so much running around. I was so tired, and that alone just let me know uh this is not the place for me it's too disorganized very unprofessional we set up an interview time and no one shows up yeah i left there with in mind that okay definitely not going to be this place i'm not even going to try to get us you know uh you know not even going to try to reach out for another interview so in my mind i'm like i guess i'll have to go with the first place even though i really didn't want it because it didn't meet those two requirements i had so anyway i get in the car y'all and on the way home i get a message an email saying you know Thank you for your interest in our facility at this time. You know, we have several applicants, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are not able, we are not something considering you as a candidate, something like that. So y'all, that, that kind of stuck with me for like a good 48 hours because I don't think I've ever been denied a job before. And that was like, what? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I got over it after like two days because the my two... Um, the two things that I wanted, they didn't offer that anyway, but it was just the fact that y'all saying no, like <laughs> I have experience with a, you know, a level one trauma facility and y'all telling me no, as bad as places need nurses now. And I know I was very professional in my interview. So anywho, so that's a bust with that, but I have another interview coming up. 
this Tuesday at another long-term care facility. This one does utilize Epic Charting and they also have a Weekender program, which would be great for me. So I have an interview, interview excuse me, for their neuro, neuro unit and also their medical surgical tele unit. So y'all, I will be back with an update on that. Okay, another thing, school. I have completed the summer semester. Um, so I am six classes in to a 10 class BSN program, RN to BSN program. It's at Claflin University, which is a HBCU um, located out of Orangeburg, South Carolina. Y'all, I have four more classes to go. Y'all know they're eight week classes. Um, came through summer semester. You know, I came through it fine. Um, yeah. Not much more I can say on that. I will break down the classes in that program once I finish. Plan is, goal is to graduate in December. I am enrolling in the next two set of classes. So, you know, the, still got the little momentum. We're on a little break now. So it's, I'm kind of getting myself ready for these next two set of classes. Um, yeah, and so after those two, I'll just have two more and I'll be done in December. So y'all, hopefully, I, hopefully I can keep it going. Um, and also, I was planning a party, a little event I was planning that finally went off. We actually, uh, the event was actually held last night. Uh, it, it went good. I, you know, I enjoyed myself. I danced so much. I think both of my ankles are swollen because I was not wearing the appropriate shoes for all the dances that I did. But yeah, I had a good time. But y'all, it is so stressful. My hat goes off to all event planners because, ooh. I did it myself. Um, my friend, she did the catering for free because she's starting a new catering company. And I'll insert a video of her the food that she served. Um, it's TNT Catering. She is based out of Walterboro, South Carolina. So if any of you are, you know, in the nearby area and you want someone to cater some good food, not some good soul food for your events, just reach out to her, TNT Catering, or just um leave a comment down below i might actually i'm gonna actually start putting my email on here because i never leave any information for y'all to get in contact with me if y'all need to so i'm gonna start leaving my email well instagram something something down there for y'all to get in contact with me so yeah that went off well now i can get back to business um but yeah i can get back to business back to making my youtube videos i just had all that going on and it was just you know i'll sit down and try to make a video and i was like i can't do it <laughs> like i can't do it today so yeah guys that's the update on my life so far and i also want to add that i have started a second channel because i mentioned in so many of my videos um that i have other interests and one of my interests that one of the interests that i have it's history. I love history, y'all. I go, I just watch, like I've said before, documentaries about historical events, and I just love European history. I love um, American history. I love African history. But I, what I love the most is like watching documentaries based on the different wars. And so I've decided, you know, I it gotta be other people out there who love things like, you know, they're like this too. I cannot be the only one that love history, even though I'm the only one that I know in my circle that do. So I started a new reaction review channel. I haven't put a video up yet, but I will be putting some up soon. And it's gonna be more like a learning type channel because we're gonna be looking at some videos about different historical events and having little discussions or whatever. And I just wanna share some of the interests I have with those of you who are interested in the same thing. So if you are, just go ahead over there and subscribe to that channel. I will start, I will be, um, I will be putting videos up on that channel this week uh i don't know if it's going to be a reaction or a review first first video but yeah so yeah guys that is it sorry it's so short but you know sometimes that's how it is if you like this content please leave a comment below hit the like button subscribe to my channel i always default on telling people or asking people to subscribe to my channel but subscribe to my channel and i will be back with another update after i go for this interview Talk to you guys later. Bye.